Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will see how we can easily set up Python on VS Code. That means how we can easily run our first Python program on Visual Studio Code. So let's see. At first, guys, you need to install VS Code as well as Python. So at first, we will see how to install Visual Studio Code. Then we will install Python. After that, we will connect both of them so that we can run our first Python program. Let's begin. At first, go to the browser. I am using Chrome. You can use any browser. On browser type Visual Studio Code. Press enter. On pressing enter, you can see the official website is visible. Code.visualstudio.com. Click on it. So VS Code, that is Visual Studio Code, is owned by Microsoft, and it is freely available. That is open source. Here, you can see the current version for Windows is visible. You can click on the drop down so that you can check the versions for Mac. And Linux also. I want for Windows, so I'll directly click here. Download for Windows. Now the download started. Here it is. It's only 72 MB. Let's wait for a few seconds. Here and you can see the setup downloaded .exe file. Now double click on it to install. Minimize this. Click on I accept the agreement. Click on Next. Here and you can see it will get installed in the following location. And it will only take 287 MB. If you want to change the location, you can click here. But I'll keep the default and I'll click on Next. Click on Next again. It will set the path also. I'll click on Next again. Click on Install. Now the installation started. The setup completed guys, when I'll click on finish, it will automatically launch. Click on finish. It started guys. Here it is. Here it is guys. From here in you can set the light theme, dark theme. I'll keep the dark only. So guys, we successfully installed VS Code. Now let us install the current Python version. Let's begin. At first go to the web browser. I am using Chrome. You can use any browser. On Google type Python. Press enter. On pressing enter the official website is visible. The first one python.org. Click on it. After clicking you have now reached the official website. Here it is python.org. Just keep the mouse cursor on downloads. On keeping here in always the current version is visible. So the current version is python 3.10.3. Just click on it to download. The download started, it's only 27 MB. You need to wait for a few seconds. So guys, we have successfully downloaded the exe file. Double click on it to install. Minimize this. Now the installation started. Here it is, Python 3.10.3. .3. At first, click on add Python 3.10 to path. Now click on customize installation. Here in optional features are visible. It will install pip. I told you pip is used to install and manage python packages. It will also install IDLE. IDLE is an ID to run python programs. We will see it later. It will install the test suite as well as the pile launcher. Keep the default. Click on next. Here in advanced option are visible. I will select install for all users. Now the following is the path wherein our python will get installed. We will see it later. Click on install. So guys, the setup is successful. Click on close. So guys, we successfully installed Python as well. Go to start, type cmd. Click on open to open the command prompt. Here it is guys. Now type python space hyphen hyphen version and press enter. On pressing, you can see we installed the current python version as well. So we have VS code as well as python. Now we need to connect both of them. For that, Go to start, type Visual Studio Code or here you can see it is by default visible now because we just installed it. I'll click on it. Here it is guys. I'll just close this. Now here we have our explorer. 
I'll create a folder here. Click on open folder. Let's create a folder on the desktop from here itself. Click a new folder. I'll give it a name Amit. Okay, here it is. I'll select the folder now. Okay, so we have our folder now. Yes, I trust it. You need to select it and click on I trust the authors. Okay, now we have this Amit folder here. The same is visible here. Now you can directly create a new file from here or you can right click to create a new file. I'll right click, create a new file. Let us create our first Python file that is demo.py. I'll press enter and you can see the sign is visible for Python. Press enter. On pressing enter, we have a demo.py file here. Now here you can see that I created a new Python file and it, it directly gave me a recommendation that that to set up Python with VS Code, you need to install this extension. Extensions are like plugins you can say which extends the functionality of VS Code. So in this case, we want Python. So it gave a recommendation to install it or you can directly go to here extensions and type Python here. On typing Python, the first one is visible. This is what we are installing. So let us just directly click on install here. Here you can see the first one is visible, the same one it is installing. It is being owned by Microsoft, so you don't need to worry. So guys, we successfully installed it. Close this. Close this as well. So we installed. So now guys, we will print our first program. So here I am printing Python first program. Let me increase the font also. Go to file, click on preferences, click on settings from here. After clicking here is the font, just change it to let's say, I'll change it to 20 and I'll press enter. That's it. Close this. Now you can see we have increased the font. Now guys you can go to file and click on save all. So to run it, right click and just select run python file in terminal. Here it is guys, Python first program ran successfully. So in this way you can easily run your first Python program on VS Code. So guys in this video we saw how we can install VS Code, Python as well as how we can connect both of them to run our first Python project. Thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, do subscribe to our channel Amit Things.